Eucharistic adoration is an important part of any Catholic's prayer life, and one church in Maryland is making sure it never stops. Correspondent Mark Irons reports on the impact perpetual adoration is having on the people who make it a part of their lives. For years, this chapel in Gaithersburg, Maryland, outside the nation's capital, has been open day and night. In a busy, noisy world, it's a place where it's quiet. In a confused world, it's a place where there's truth. Grace Morrison calls it her lifeline, a place where she can spend time before God. This is where I come to talk to my friend, to um, hear what the Lord wants. Morrison comes at least once a week for an hour to the Adoration Chapel at St. John Newman Parish. Of course, Christ is everywhere. God is everywhere. He's, he's created all things, but he's given us this uh, very unique opportunity uh, to be in front of him face to face. Father Stefan Yap, parochial vicar of the parish, says the devotion to perpetual adoration here is strong. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every hour is booked by at least one person adoring Christ, fully present in the Eucharist. He is, he is out, he is on the altar, um, and allows us to be close to him. People couldn't visit the Blessed Sacrament indoors when in-person worship stopped last year, but perpetual adoration began in 2002, and they found a way to keep it going during the coronavirus pandemic. For almost 20 years, this parish has had perpetual adoration. Even during the pandemic, when the chapel doors were locked, the Blessed Sacrament was placed right inside these doors, and people would pray outside. I mean, it really was a beautiful, um, beautiful witness. Parishioner Tony Castellano is part of a men's group at the parish that helps to fill those early morning hours of adoration. Okay, four o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. He says the extra effort to keep it perpetual is all worth it, and it's having an impact on the church community. You experience the body of Christ in the lives of those who are here. And I would attribute that today in saying that very greatly to the fact that we have 24-hour Eucharistic adoration. St. John Paul II once said, from the Eucharist comes strength to live the Christian life and zeal to share that life with others. Tony Castellano's son Steve is in the seminary and parishioners at St. John Newman say one of the fruits of adoration has been the number of vocations to the priesthood and religious life that have formed at the church. Grace Morrison has one son in seminary and two who are priests. She believes their time in adoration was preparation and cultivated the soil of their hearts so they can hear the Lord and know what he wants in their life. Castellano keeps coming to adoration where he feels abiding peace in the presence of a person who cares for him deeply. The only thing that person wants to do is put their arms around you and say, I love you. I died for you. And that, that brings me back. In Gaithersburg, Maryland, Mark Irons, EWTN News Nightly.